something like this happens, it illustrates just how vulnerable we are in so many public places. That's right. You have to pass through multiple levels of security to access most parts of any airport. But baggage claim is a totally different story. Our own Jeff Rusak continues our live coverage from the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. Jeff. Jeff and, Jeff and Ashley, police at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport are in what they call a heightened awareness mode. Uh, now, we saw that earlier here, especially by the baggage claim earlier when there was a lot more people around. Now, the baggage area claim, like we learned, could potentially be a soft target for a would-be attacker. Oh, my God, you have no idea. We're alive. We're alive. Jesus, you know? Emotions were riding high by baggage claim. I called my sister to pick me up and she was crying. So that's how I found out. Southwest Flight 190 landed on time in Buffalo, but most on the flight had no idea what they were leaving behind in Fort Lauderdale. Well, we were taking off on the flight and all we saw were fire trucks everywhere. All the people were coming out of the chair. During the flight, passengers knew nothing about the shooting, but as soon as cell phones turned on once they landed, it was clear and the gravity of the situation hit them. But we didn't even know what was going on until I landed on the ground. I had everyone calling me, asking me if I'm alive, I'm okay. We're just looking to get out again. I just walked in and pinched myself. I thought I was dreaming. You could imagine the relief. You know, I had my son and my nephew in there with me. We were down there on business, and uh, I'm just glad to be home. While security is priority number one at airports, some getting off of Flight 190 say they want more done to protect the entire airport. You got to really start checking for these guns. I don't know how they're getting the airports. I don't know how they're doing it. One man says less gun laws could help protect soft targets. That's, those are the places, the soft places where they all hit. You know, if, you, if I had a gun, I would have shot somebody. You know, you're going to come in here and try to shoot me, I'll just kill you. I don't care. For these Western New Yorkers, a mass shooting was too close for comfort. And more than anything, they're just happy to be home. JetBlue and Southwest Airlines are the two airlines here in Buffalo that fly to Fort Lauderdale. So if your flight to Fort Lauderdale or from Fort Lauderdale was canceled, you can rebook that without any charge. Reporting live at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News. Jeff, thank you.